What's up, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, wherever. We're going to work on a 2020 Explorer tonight, too, besides my truck. Stay tuned. We'll see what we're going to do. Okay, so here she is, 2020 Ford Explorer. It's a little four-cylinder. We've got to do an oil change. So... My light came on when we were at Menards, so I grabbed one of these guys. And a couple jugs of that. Now, when you're dealing with these direct ejected motors, pay attention to your certifications. You know, because they actually matter. Um, this one's having a hell of a time. But those are important. So, you know, your Audis, Volkswagens, Chevys use Dexos. They, they all, they're all different specs. So just pay attention to make sure your oil meets that manufacturer spec. So I'm going to go ahead and get things ready and we'll be right back. All right, so here's the front, front bumper. You have this plastic. Um good plate and then that little fiber one and we're gonna want to remove that and I believe yep so you got some seven mils and then it looks like a couple Christmas tree clips and I highly suggest investing in one of these more cars you work on the more happy you'll be that you have them so i'm gonna go ahead and get this off and i'll be right back okay so here we go i got that off i just spun that carpet thing away just spun it around and so right there's your oil filter right there's your drain plug and it is a 15 mil so I'm going to go ahead and drain this oil, loosen that filter, and uh, work on getting getting this oil out. Um, and if your car's still under warranty like this one is, you can change your own oil. Just make sure you keep records of it. Don't quote me on that. You might have to fight a dealership a little bit, but nothing that says you have to have it serviced by the dealership. So... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this drained. I'll be right back, guys. So when I'm doing this, I take my drain plug out and I inspect it to make sure it's, you know, seals good, everything is, all the threads are good on it. And then you can also open up your oil fill cap there. I'm gonna go ahead and break that filter loose and uh, get that done. I'll be right back. Okay, so oil capacity for these is 5.2, 5.5, around that area. Um, make sure and fill it, put the five quarts in there, get it on the ground, and then double check it. Um, that way you know you're, you're right on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on the oil life reset, and I'll be right back to show you how you how you do that, too. All right, so you're in your Explorer, or your truck, or whatever you're doing this on. Hit the menu button. Settings. Oil life. And OK to reset. And, look at that. We got it reset. So, at this point, go ahead and shut the ignition off. And then go ahead and start your vehicle. Get it off the ramps. I like to fill up my washer fluid while we're doing this. Um, again, again, double check your, your oil level. Um, 
I would recommend wearing safety glasses just like all the other videos. If you put it up on a jack, use jack stamps to be safe. And then recycle your oil when you're all done. I put my used oil back in a in a container and uh, and call it a day. Um, like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. Who knows? Uh, we might have more fun stuff coming up, hopefully. But, deuces, guys.